All right. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to another live session by Think Institute. I hope everybody's planning and everybody's uh, preparation and everybody's hard work is going well. And all of you are able to uh, practice somewhat for UC and seed examinations. Hello, Mohit and everyone else. So today also we have a few of the questions that we can discuss here. Before that, I want to inform all of you that Think Institute generally hosts curiosity quizzes every Saturday. But this time, because Sunday is your final exam, on Saturday, we are having a marathon for four hours continuously. So that will start somewhere. Uh, it will be mentioned in the comments right now when it will start. It will start around morning 10 o'clock, I think. And uh, the marathon will run for four hours and it will be very intensive. You see it and see it, uh, question practices. I uh, endorse everyone to attend it and it will be very, very good practice. Therefore, the curiosity quizzes that generally happens on Saturday, that will be shifted to Friday, all right, which will be day after tomorrow. All right, without further ado, I think we can start with our questions. So, uh, I think, hello, Fatima. I'm going, to, I'm going to call you Rida, okay? Hello, Rida. All right, so Rida and Mohit and everybody else watching, what do you think is the answer for this question? How many cuts can be made to divide the structure into two pieces? So, in any case, uh, let me just see. In any case, if you provide two cuts, it should cut it into two pieces, right? But if you pay attention here, if you look at, if you look at, you know what you can do in the examination? You can take a paper, put it on the screen and try to trace it with a pencil. If the invigilator doesn't allow, don't do it. But if they allow and if they're not uh, worried about it, you can actually try that also. So you can do these small tips and uh, small tricks to get ahead of the question. And here you can see, if you pay attention, if you pay close attention, these are not actually joint shapes. These are actually separate shapes. So what should be the answer? Can anybody guess? I've already written the answer. Can anybody guess how many cuts can be made to divide this structure into two separate structures? The answer would be zero. That is because the structure is already divided into two parts. But to understand that and to be able to, you know, uh, distinguish between these two structures, that is the important part and that is what you guys have to do. Got it? All right. Moving ahead. Just a second. My, my screen is not sharing properly. Anyway, uh, it should share now. All right. Moving ahead. Let's look at this question. So this type of a question is very common. And this has come many times in uh, seed and UC question papers. So the question is that a sector lies between two parts of a city. How many unique roads are there to go from left side to the right side without retracing any portion of the route? I will give you three minutes. Uh, no, sorry. I'll give you one minute. We don't have three minutes. I will give you till 4.30. 8, 8, 20, 0, 4, 3, 0. Why don't you tell me the answer? These sort of questions have very easy answers, but I'll tell you the trick how to do it later after this. Any guesses before I tell you the answer? Anybody wants to take a guess of the answer? Or give the correct answer? Generally, generally when retracing is not allowed, right? Uh, just a second. Generally, when retracing is not allowed, that time you can sort of make a guess that that the answer would be entries multiplied by exits. So there are five entries. There are five exits. The answer should be 25. But if you're not able to understand this formula, you can actually try doing it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not retracing any steps. Right. So, all of them, all 5 are exiting from 1. Right. Or the other way to do this would be 1. Two, three, um, 
four, four, right? And then you can also do five like that, right? So each of them will have five. Each of them will have five. That is why the answer will end up being 25. That is how you can do this sort of question. But generally as a thumb rule, it is mostly entry, entry points multiplied by exit points. And that should give you a quick idea of what the answer could be. So here the answer should be five into five, 25. All right, let me move ahead. Uh, there is some, uh, there's a not, not a lot of clarity regarding this question. So I'm just skipping over this for now. But this question is very important because this question has come many times in the examination. Our institute, our institute has just tweaked it a little to be more uh, new and novel. But this question belongs to a category called tangram. Okay. Tangram questions are extremely important where they give you this sort of a thing. This is also a toy that you guys can uh, check out. And you have to make shapes like this out of it, right? There will always be seven pieces in tangram and you have to make shapes like this, but, but when they ask you the question, they will not give you the outline. They will give it to you like this. And then you have to figure out whether tangram can make it or not. All right. That is the main key of these questions. So in this case, if you look at it, you have to figure out which of these should be able to make out of these five shapes only, which of these can give us the correct answer. So for example, if I am, if I am thinking that this is made of, so how many shapes do we have? One, one Nepal, I'm going to call it a Nepal flag shape. Okay. One Nepal flag shape, one triangle, one pentagon, one square. So if this is Nepal flag shape and, uh, if I can get a square here, this is not working, right? Um, if I can do this and if I can do this, does this work? No, again, this is more than one, more than one size that we want. Also, we want this shape, this shape, right? So to get that shape, we will need to Does this work? All of you? Does option A work? Can somebody tell me is option A working or not? Option A is working, right? It's working for us. What do you guys think? All the people who are there online today, what do you think? Option A is working or not? All four pieces are used to make this, right? But uh, let me try to figure out other options that can use it. But if I look at this, I can see that this will be a little problematic because this already seems bigger then what we want, right? Even if at least it is made of at least two triangles, right? So if this is made of at least two triangles, how will we end up because, and also when they ask this question though, they will ensure that the size of this exactly matches the size that is there inside. So here I can, by seeing the size only, I can tell that probably shapes will not fit. Example, for example, if, this is the square. I can already see that the square is here. It is bigger than the square that we have, but this can't be a square. This is much bigger. Can this be the triangle? This can be the triangle. Yes, it can be the triangle, but, but then I don't think these will fit together. All right. Any other option that you think is working other than a, can you figure out any option that is working other than a? I'm looking out for answers. Anybody has an answer they can give. So it can be present in any shape or form. Okay. You have to be very aware of what the answer can be like. No. All right. So let us check the answer here and let's see if there is any other shape working for our answer. Look at that. So D is also working for us. How does D work? It will be. One second. It will be of this shape. Understood? 
मोहित डिड यू गेट इट महक सैलिस्टो आर्ट्स गैलरी ए के आर्ट्स डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज हाउ डी विल आल्सो वर्क बट आई कैन सब वॉट अश्योर यू दैट वेन दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम्स इन द एग्जाम इट विल कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ टैन ग्राम ओके they won't use their own we have used it here to confuse you to get, to make the question a little harder for you but generally they end up using tangram okay so i would recommend download this tangram game there is tangram games on play store okay you can just find tangram game play store and you will find many many tangram games and you can just practice something like this you can just practice it is very nice it will be there on app store as well okay so that is what you can do for your own practice okay moving ahead this one is easy enough this is like a tangram but it is short can somebody quickly tell me the answer i will give you till 12:30 8 20 12:30 i'm giving you exactly one minute and this is very easy i'm going to wait for you guys to tell me the answer very easy ek size hum chota kar sakte hain no mehak uh i don't think they will allow you to reduce size in these questions the size will always 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 remain same if you can reduce size they will mention it okay are you sure ek arts gallery that d is a correct answer are you sure can you pay attention can you be a little careful okay so one thing that i can see is look at the form of the shapes okay c ha c might work c might work so we want to pay attention to the forms if i look at the orange shape here the orange shape looks like this whereas in our question the orange shape is very clearly like this correct right? so uh that is why d will not be the correct answer okay you guys are saying a and c is the correct answer i agree with you what is wrong with b can somebody tell me what is wrong with b only then we can move forward you need to tell me what is wrong with b and then i can move forward only then i can eliminate b no but if you don't tell me the logic blue and purple yes blue and purple and green and red so if you look at green here the green's angle this angle is bigger than 90 degrees no but here it is exactly 90 degrees so we know that our green looks like this or we can take the case of red also same thing with red because we have red color pen right now red also looks like this whereas in r in in the option given in b it is looking like like this okay so that is very simple to get this answer so b and d will be eliminated and if you look at these closely you will understand why this particular this particular answer would be the correct answer okay moving ahead this is an actual question that has come in the examination this will fall under the category of mechanical questions and again i will give you 30 seconds to tell me the answer more than one answers can be correct i will give you 30 seconds so 40 i'll give you till 14 30 to tell me the correct answer let's see who can tell me the correct answer 17 people watching let's see who will be the correct who will give the correct answer and remember you seed and seed have negative markings so you have to be careful of giving the wrong answer as well ak arts has already given the answer let's see if acd is correct mohit is saying c and d mohit a won't work the b won't work all right so in this case in this particular uh, question both a c and d will work if you look at it you will be able to understand that this will work this this will just if you extend it it will just come closer right it will just come closer and the our uh, scissor will become taller right i have very bad drawings so don't worry about that our scissors will become taller but it will work if you look at b though if you open if you try to open it in this angle right if you try to open it in this angle they will because it is connected here they will push against each other which will not happen if you look at c 
this will go ahead this will go ahead and when this goes ahead this will come down when this goes ahead this will come down so this is connected and this is connected that can take place c is correct in the case of d also this will go out which is connected to um, connected to this going in this direction this will go out which is connected to this going in this direction that is how it will open and it should work so d should work c should work b should not work and a should work so the correct answer would be a c and d okay i hope you guys understood if you now look at it more clearer i think you should be able to understand okay moving ahead so this is an interesting question simple question let's see who can find the answer i think this is an in-house question uh, which of the options are not a part of the given image i will give you 30 seconds i'll give you 30 seconds till 2017 Mohit says A and D. What about other people? AK Arts thinks it is only A. Anandi also thinks it is only A. Any other ideas or any other answer? Okay. So, I think A is one of the easier answers, right? Because if you look at the shape of this, you will see that we don't have that sort of a shape anywhere. Anywhere, isn't it? And that is why we can sort of think that A might be the correct answer. So A is the correct answer that it is not present, right? So that is the correct answer. This is, where is this? I just, I lost it. Uh, it is here. It is, it is here. Correct. Let me just, this is somewhere here, right? And this is somewhere here. But this again is not in our image. They have colored it the same to, make, to confuse you, but it is not there in the image. And therefore we can also know that D is not present. That means D is also the correct answer. So Mohit, you were right. And the rest of you, Hisham, you were also right. Uh, Mehak, now you're telling the answer when I've already given the answer. So uh, all of you saying A, D will be right. All of you saying A will only get partial marks. Okay. So be careful and be very concise and precise of what answer you give. Okay, moving ahead. This is a very interesting question. More than one answer can be correct. Let's see who's able to solve it. I'm not going to read it for you, but I'll give you 30 seconds. Exactly till 2019. You have till 2019 to give me the answer. Okay, so now that you're giving me answers, can you also tell me what is the logic behind this? So understanding the logic is also important in these questions so that you should be able to reason with your own self. You should be able to reason with your mind why you are giving a particular answer. So can anybody tell me what is the logic behind this? Okay, so if you're not able to BCR rotate, oh, that is the answer. No, Mohit. Swastika, what do you mean by swastika? No, so what is happening? Uh, what is happening with this is you will see that every pipe is only on one axis. So this is on this axis, right? This is on this axis, and this is on this axis correct so x x y y z z axis they are but if you look at a it is all are sticking to their axis all are sticking and d also all of them are sticking to their correct axis but if you look at b this is going this is starting looking at at minus x it goes down and then it starts looking at what will this be you can maybe uh, um, minus x this could be maybe plus Z. So it changes, it changes its axis, isn't it? Which we don't want. 
same thing happens here also it is looking at y but then it starts looking at i don't know minus x or something like that that is what we don't want we don't want it to change axis and only in a and d they are not changing axis and that is why those two would be the correct answer okay now this is very interesting you have to be able to visualize this question and be able to do it in your mind can you tell me the answer of the mark that pencil will never ever make you have to apply some some brain to it and you should be able to get the answer mm -hmm. It took a multiple select question A cards. So more than one answer can be correct. B is not possible. C is not possible. A is not possible and B is not possible. So everybody has, you have said A, B, C and D. <laughs> you guys have said. Unnat is saying B, C, D. Okay, let us check it out then. Let us check it out. So one thing I think you guys can figure out here that this curve and this curve are equal. So when this rotates, when these two start touching the ground, they will be equal. That means they will end up giving us a flat line. So D should be possible. Okay. So D is not the answer because D should be possible. However, after we make a straight line, after we make a straight line, straight line, uh, after we make a straight line, it should go a little down, right? Uh, after we make a straight line, no, it should, it comes to flat, but then it starts going up. It starts going up because this thing, no, it will start uh, yeah, so it will start coming like this. So the pencil has pencil was here. Pencil has come here now. So pencil has gone up. So after flat, after flat, after D, it should not go down. After flat, it goes up. After flat, it is going up. But after up, it can come down. Understood? So after flat, after these, if it is moving in this direction. It cannot see you can see from here also here also you can see if it starts moving in this direction, this will go up. So the pencil should go up, up, up and then fall down and it should be flat. Got it. So D will not be D is not the correct answer because it can be made. C is the correct answer because C cannot be made. Basically, you leave the correct answers for now. I'm just saying D cannot be made. Sorry, B can be made. C cannot be made. And A can be made. But look at this B. B, when it comes down, no, it will come down like this. But in B, it is going below. It is going below their base level, which should not happen. So it cannot go below base level. Therefore, B should also not be possible. Therefore, B and C cannot be made. So as our answers, so our answer, yeah, one second, Unnati. So our answers uh, would be B and C because they cannot be made. So Unnati, uh, I think the straight line won't be equal to the other parts. You're absolutely right. But they never mentioned that the straight line is the correct thickness or not. It could be a zoomed in version of the straight line. Or they could, they could make a small straight line, rotate the entire thing, again make a small straight line, again make a small straight line, small straight line. But is a straight line possible is this what they're asking. And in this particular case, straight line is possible. Okay. Maybe you're looking at a very small straight line. They just zoomed into it to show you. That's all. Okay. So when they're saying that it can never be made, can it never be made straight line that long? It can be made. It can be made. If we try to, you know, uh, move it and then again, uh, only bring it back to the same location and then again move it. That is why, maybe that is the reason why, why, why they're saying B and C would not be possible. Okay. Even if you look at the answers, question nine, um, B and C would be the correct answer. Okay. All right. Now in this question, you need to help me out. I've not done this question. So you have to tell me the correct answer. You have 40 seconds. You have to 26. Read the question. D, how can this be possible? 
I just explained no. So what you can do is you can just go back in the video and you can check out the video again, Rajnandani. All right. So that we can so that we can use this time to do more questions. Okay. Last 15 seconds. Actually, the answer is already there if you can pay attention. It is very simple. The question is saying that there are 12 snowflakes, 12 sunsets and 12 sunrises. 12 suns, 12 sunsets and 12 snowflakes. What lines out of A, B, C and D can we draw so that all of them will end up have each quadrant will end up having four, uh, three, three, three of each. I think Salisto is right. I think AK, I don't think I do I don't think A would be possible here, but we can check it out for sure. So in the case of in this case, I think we're able to capture capture all three three three, isn't it? All of them are three three three, three snowflakes, three suns, and three sunrises. Uh, but if you look at A uh, and if you look at B also. See, I can't make a straight line for B. I don't know, like this. And like this. See, you can already see that they are not equal. No? Only two snowflakes. Ah, actually, actually, Salisto is right. That is how I also got this question. I can actually see the gap. So, but, but in you see it also, there, there might be some hints like this. In some of the questions, those hints can be there. All right. So you have to be on the lookout for these, those heads. And that is a very nice observation, Salisto. That is how, how I also figured out that it could be the answer. Uh, so B definitely is not equal. If you look at A also, um, and then I take it from here, A, A is somewhere here though. So again, see, it is not coming to equal, equal division of all, all 12. 12, 36 items. All right. Okay. We can move forward now. We will again leave this question. You guys can take a but you will have a screenshot of this on the YouTube video. So I'm not going to stop here. I think there might be something wrong with the question. So I'm not going to spend time on this, but very quickly, Freddy, a much loved pet tortoise above, right? Has gone missing. A reward has been offered on his return and four tortoises below have been handed in. Which one is Freddy? I think these are not tortoises. These are turtles. But anyway, <laughs> which of these is Teddy? Basically, what is this question? You just have to find the differences. Okay, so I can find some problems in two of them. But I'm confused between one more. Can anybody figure out? Okay, so what is the problem with A? It's very clear that this is the problem with A. There is a missing spot here, right? What is the problem with C? This is the problem. Now, what is the problem with D? Can somebody tell me? Because I'm not able to find it. You guys have to help me. What is the problem with D? I found it. This, this, this is the problem with D. Outline, huh? Uh, maybe this. Outline of one of the squares. Correct, correct. This is the problem. This is our Freddy. Freddy friend. Okay. So the correct answer would be B. Okay. This is also interesting. Let us quickly do this. This is being able to recognize patterns. So because we don't have a lot of time, I'm, I'm just going to tell you the answer. So in this question, you see that this block is very similar to this block, right? The only difference is that this side has been changed, right? This side has been changed. This remains same and this side has also been changed. That means all three have to be changed. So if we take our answer, we should have this, right? Because that is what we wanted to change. We should have, what else, what else? We should have an opposite of this. Right. And we should have the opposite of this, which should be, um, right. So any, any answer that is giving us these four, these three things, B, not A, only B. 
Okay. Again, you can pause this video later on and you can check out the answers again. Okay. I feel like doing one quick question. Let us do this quick question. This is the final question that we will do. 10 seconds. Tell me the answer. 10 seconds. It has to be two blacks on the bottom, which I can see in option C, uh, two yellow tops that are above then black, then yellow. So I think C should be the answer in this. You can take a screenshot of this or you can refer to the video later on as well. All right. And with that, we will end, the, end this live session. I want to remind all of you that on Saturday, Think is going to be conducting a marathon. In this marathon, you will be doing four hours straight You seed questions of all sorts. Creative part and seed questions. Creative part and the logical reasoning part. And because of that, uh, we will be conducting the curiosity quiz that we generally do on Saturdays, it will be uh, shifted to Friday evening. So you can participate in the curiosity quiz that uh, thing does on Friday. And you can take part. I would say you should take part. Uh, Salisto time will just be mentioned right now in the chat box. And this marathon, which will happen on Saturday, it will be very useful for you. So the logical reasoning part with me, I think that will happen at somewhere around 11 a.m. But all the timings will be mentioned to you. You can also subscribe this channel, reach out to the people here and they will help you out. So I will request the channel to just mention the time of the marathon in the comment box. And you can, and we will pin the comment later on as well. Okay. All right. I'm taking off all the best, all of you, all the very best. Practice a lot. Keep solving questions. All right. Bye-bye.